And once again, we'd like to welcome our viewers in the United States for this coverage of President Obama's historic trip to Myanmar. Right now, he is meeting with the democracy activist turned lawmaker Aung San Suu Kyi. Earlier, he had met with President Than Shuen. And we'd like to bring in Dan Lothian, our White House correspondent, who is traveling with President Obama. For the, for the first time, a sitting president has visited Myanmar, a country which many people around the world also know as Burma. And, and Dan, there, we, I mentioned it briefly before that there has been some criticism of this trip by President Obama to Myanmar as essentially being too much too soon. That's right. I mean, you know, it's there's only one visit that a president has to, to give in terms of the first visit. And many people, there were critics there who felt that this was too much too soon. I mean, you had the, uh, the uh, Secretary of State who came here at the end of last year. Uh, then there was the, the ambassador, the U.S. ambassador, who was reinstated. And so many felt that that was far enough, especially uh, since the fact that you have still some human rights issues there. There is still violence in this country, uh, still a level of corruption. And so uh, the, the criticism is that you need to give this process some time. The president himself has talked about how this process, we're in the sort of the first steps of a long-term process to democracy, uh, and, and you need to give it more time to find out if this is a real pathway to the future or not before rewarding it with a presidential visit. So what has the administration's response been to all of this criticism? You know, they feel that this is an important visit because it does encourage the process along. It's in no way a celebration uh, that they have reached the end of the road, uh, but just a way, way to encourage the leadership here uh, that the more you do, the more the U.S. and other And Dan, I'm going to interrupt you because the president has just walked out with Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, he is gesturing to Ms. Suu Kyi to make some comments. Like so let's to listen. i how happy I am to receive President Obama in my country and in my house. The friendship between our two countries is of long standing. The United States has been staunch in its support of the democracy movement in Burma, and we are confident that this support will continue through the difficult years that lie ahead. I say difficult because the most difficult time in any transition is when we think that su success is in sight. Then we have to be very careful that we are not lured by a mirage of success and that we are working towards genuine success for our people and for the friendship between our two countries. I believe that we have been able to discuss our various concerns openly and that as a result of the President's visit to this country, the relations between our countries can only progress in the right direction. I intend fully to keep in touch with the United States government as far as possible and to make sure that we always liaise with one another on the most important matters. Now, I'm told I had three minutes, and I think this is th about three minutes, so thank you all for coming, and uh, I leave the floor to President Obama. Uh, well, uh, I'll try to be equally brief, uh, although not as eloquent. Uh, I was honored uh, to be the first president to welcome uh, Dao Aung San Suu Kyi uh, to the White House. Uh, I'm proud to be the first American president uh, to visit this uh, spectacular country, and I am very pleased that one of my first stops is to visit with an icon of democracy who's inspired so many people, not just uh, in this country, but all around the world. Uh, I especially uh, want to thank uh, Anyang Suu Kyi for welcoming me to her home. Uh, here, through so many difficult years, uh, is where she displayed such unbreakable courage and determination. It's here where she showed that human freedom, freedom and dignity cannot be denied. Uh, today marks the next step in a new chapter between the United States and Burma. Last year, in response to early flickers of reform, I asked Secretary Clinton to visit uh, this country and explore uh, with Anyang Suu Kyi and the government whether the United States could empower reform efforts and begin a new relationship between our peoples. Uh, in the years since, we've seen some very encouraging progress, including uh, Dao Anyang Suu Kyi's uh, release uh, and election to parliament, uh, the release of political prisoners, the lifting of restrictions on the press, and new laws to expand labor rights and eliminate the use of child soldiers. Uh, and at my direction, the United States has responded to support these reforms, uh, including the easing of sanctions. Uh, now, as a former legislator myself, I followed 
uh, your role in the new parliament uh, with interest and admiration. Uh, real democracy involves having different branches of government check and balance each other. And I applaud your efforts uh, in that regard, particularly as the head of the committee of the rule of law. Uh, in my discussions uh, here in uh, Yangon, uh, our goal is to sustain the momentum for democratization. That includes building credible government institutions, establishing rule of law, uh, ending ethnic conflicts, and ensuring that uh, the people of this country have access to greater education, health care, and economic opportunity. And uh, I want to make a pledge to the people uh, of this country that uh, I am confident we can keep. And that is if we see continued progress towards reform, uh, our bilateral ties will grow stronger and we will do everything we can uh, to help uh, ensure uh, success. Uh, I'm so happy, by the way, to be joined by Secretary Clinton. Uh, this is her last foreign trip uh, that we're going to take together. Uh, and it is fitting that we've come here to a country that she has done so much to support. Uh, where did Hillary go? Where is she? There she is. So, I could not be more grateful, uh, not only for your service, Hillary, uh, but also for the powerful message that you and Anyang Suu Kyi uh, send uh, about the importance of women and men everywhere uh, embracing and promoting democratic values uh, and human rights. So again, I want to thank you, Dao Anyang Suu Kyi, for your extraordinary hospitality and grace, uh, the power of your example, which has been inspiration to people all around the world, including myself. Uh, Clearly, you will be playing a key role in uh, your country's future for many years to come uh, as Burma seeks the freedom and the prosperity and the dignity uh, that uh, not only the people of this country deserve, but people all around the world deserve. So thank you for your inspiring message. Thank you. U.S. President Barack Obama there speaking on the steps of Aung San Suu Kyi's house on this the first visit by a sitting American president to Myanmar, a country also known as Burma. I guess the key to his remarks there was when he said the goal of this visit is to sustain the momentum towards democracy. Dan Lothian was also listening to the comments made by President Barack Obama. And Dan, uh, all very positive, uh, but also a word of caution that hedging, if you like, that providing this country continue to move towards reform, the bonds would be there. That's right. You know, it's, it's the rewards will be there if this country continues on the steps forward. And just to kind of back up a little bit before the president came out to make those short remarks, we were talking about why the White House uh, went ahead with the president's visit here, despite the fact that there was some criticism. And you heard the president essentially address that, talking about how there was movement on the part of the government here, lifting restrictions on the press, releasing political prisoners, um, the parliamentary elections. I mean, these are all things that the administration looks at as some positive steps moving forward. And the president himself talked about how if, if you're going to sit back and wait for perfect democracy, uh, then you're going to have to wait an awful long time. But that's not how it works. You can't wait for the perfect before you start taking action. You look for little steps forward and then you reward that. And that's what this trip is all about. By no means is the administration saying that things are perfect in this country. They point to some of the problems that still exist. But small steps are being taken, and as the president said, it's a long journey. Okay. Uh, Dan, thank you for that. Dan Lothian, our White House correspondent, who is actually across town there at a university where the president will be speaking uh, within the next hour or so. But Dan Rivers, uh, another one of our CNN correspondents, was actually outside the house of Aung San Suu Kyi. He now joins us on the line. And, Dan, this, this was... An historic photo opportunity, if nothing else. Um, describe the mood down there. What, what has it been like for 
the people you've managed to speak with? <laughs> I mean, I can still hear the, the, the cheering of the uh, thousands of people who are outside on San Suu Kyi's house right now, just watching uh, the, the President and uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton just getting into their cars uh, to leave after uh, a long meeting, actually, a lot longer than was uh, scheduled. They, they were running slightly behind time, but it went on for uh, getting on for, what, about 40 minutes. And there, there seemed to be real warmth as well between the three of them. Uh, when uh, they arrived, uh, there was a, there was a, a kind of uh, a, a traditional why from the president where he passed his hands together uh, and she returned uh, that uh, courtesy. And then when she saw Hillary Clinton, they, they, uh, they hugged, actually, and uh, there, there was a real kind of sign of warmth. And at the end of the remarks that, uh, that they just made outside her house, uh, again, uh, a real display of affection from President Obama, who gave her a, a very warm kiss on the cheek and a hug. So uh, it seems in no doubt that the personal relationship between the three of them certainly uh, seems to be very strong. Uh, in terms of what will come out of this, well, of course, you know, there, there will be critics who are concerned that this trip has come too soon, uh, that it is uh, rewarding uh, a, a lack of progress in certain areas uh, in Myanmar. But, um, uh, but I think that the President's message here is, it has been consistent all the way through, talking about sustaining the momentum uh, towards democracy and pledging uh, that if we can see continued progress towards reform, then our relationship will get closer. Okay, Dan Rue is on the line there outside the house of Aung San Suu Kyi, where she was meeting with U.S. President Barack Obama, a meeting which went a little longer than many had expected, but by all accounts, a very warm meeting. We saw the displays of affection uh, when the president wrapped up his remarks. And, and what was interesting is what Aung San Suu Kyi said, that this is one of the most difficult moments when it appears that success is in sight. She said they must not be lured by the mirage of success. For our viewers here in the United States, we'd like to return you now to CNN Newsroom. And for all our other viewers around the world on CNN International, we will take a short break. A lot more of World Report when we come back.